Well, g'day guys, another massive week in this beautiful ocean that we live in. Well, that's right, when you just, your whole life is revolving around seafood like mine does, that is what you live and breathe, my friends. Okay, this week, it has gone nuts again in the Northern Territory government about the labeling laws of our seafood. Look, it's really plain and simple. The governments have to start to wake up and really start to implement that, you know, whether it be a fishmonger, a fish and chip shop, wherever you buy fish, the labeling laws, the labels have to be where the fish comes of origin. Yeah, it's plain and simple, guys. You know, commercial fishing, that will finish in Port Phillip Bay in April. It's just going off the charts, but we need to know where our fish is coming from. So I tell you what, write to your local MP and really give him what for, because it's not being implemented at the moment. It's still yabba yabba yabba. Come on, got to get with the program. Labeling, labeling. I want to know where my fish comes from, and I reckon so do you. Absolutely, because you deserve to. Alrighty, if you hit on the link below, you can actually just read a couple of articles about the labeling laws that have just come through of late, especially one from the Northern Territory government. It's a cracker. All right, guys. Well, tip of the day today. You know, in fact, I'm going to encompass this one with fish of the day. Fish of the day is rockling. But what I like to do is when I cook with my fish, what are the basic ingredients? Now, a lot of us will look at fish and become, oh, you know, may overcook it or undercook it. But I tell you what, if you just got the basic ingredients, it's going to make your life a little bit easier in the kitchen. One, I always like to put my fish on a plate, a little drizzle of olive oil, some salt and pepper. That is all I love to do as a complete basic, right? What you can do, you can put a bit of lemon juice over there. And if you're going to put lemon juice on, Make sure you cook it straight away, because remember the acidity will start to cook the fish. The, on the other hand, you can use a zester, get a bit of the orange peel and grate that over the top. Absolutely beautiful, and it will take your fish to such a different level, especially with the taste profile. All right, that's a great tip, but rockling, absolutely adore this fish. Look, rockling on a barbecue is absolutely sublime. I love it, it's versatile, it's moist, and it's just, it's just a great all-rounder. The good thing is there are so many cooking methods that you can put with this beautiful fish. You can poach it, you can steam it, grill it, make a beautiful beer batter up and fry it. You know, that is the great thing with rockling. All right, so what would you have when it comes to wine with your rockling? Well guys, I love my wine, love beer, but today we're going to go for a really beautiful crisp rosé. It's an absolutely amazing fish, and when you've got a crisp rosé, it just marries up beautifully. Another one is a Verdello. A beautiful Verdello goes well as with the rockling, and that's what we love. Gentlemen, when it comes to the beer, and even you gals up there, what I would say to you is a Belgian wheat beer is an amazing accompaniment to this beautiful fish. You know what guys, it's about keeping it simple. Don't overthink it and respect the produce that you've got. Well, that's it for another day guys. I'm Pete Helke, the Sustainable Seafood Chef. And all I can say to you is this, hit on my link, peterhelke.com, because there's some really, in fact there's some treats coming up. But you know the great thing is, go to the website, have a look, got some beautiful spices that go really well with seafood. Have a look for yourselves. All right, all I want you to do, guys, is stay safe, have a great week, buy local seafood, and respect it. Until next time, stay fabulously you, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.